Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another Cricut slash embroidery project. So today I am going to be showing you how to take your Cricut uh, machine. You can really use any Cricut for this. You'll just want to use one that has the right width capabilities for your fabric. So for the Joy, you could probably do this design, but for the larger designs, you'll need either a maker or an explorer, um, something that can do at least 12 inches. So we are going to be taking our image, we are going to be putting it into Cricut Design Space, and we're going to take that embroidery pattern and draw it on to our fabric. So this is going to cut out that tracing step when you're taking a digital pattern and placing it on your fabric. And instead of you tracing the fabric or the pattern, uh, Cricut will draw it for you. It's much faster and pretty darn precise. So in order to do this, you do need a pen that is compatible with your Cricut. I have used a couple. Um, my washable fabric pen from Cricut is probably my favorite because it is washable, which means if it messes up or if when I'm, you know, uh, embroidering, I don't get all of the lines quite perfectly cleaned up, you can go in and wash those lines away later. Now it is a bit of a harsher process. It's a lot easier to toss in the washing machine and get those lines off than to just take them off once you've embroidered. And I don't really like to wash my hand embroidered pieces. So um, in that vein, a heat erasable pen, which can use a heat gun to erase those lines is my all time favorite for actually uh, designing and drawing designs, but it's harder to use one of those with Cricut because they haven't made their own version. You'll need a third party adaptable pen holder, um, which I have one around here somewhere. I'm still working out the kinks of that and I will probably do a whole pen review in the future if you want to see which pens work the best with your Cricut to do this type of project. So for today, we're gonna go ahead with our washable pen. Works perfectly, it's just as you can see, the lines are thicker than the smaller 0.4 um, pen, or heat erasable pen. This is more like a one or even a two point pen. So we're gonna go ahead, especially with, hey, 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 we're not that excited. They're very excited. Especially with this tiny little free dachshund and a raincoat design. How cute is he? And we're going to draw this on our fabric. So let's get started. You can use the same exact design um, principle to do all of these patterns. I've done them all the exact same way. So into Cricut Design Space we go and let's get this guy done. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started by putting our fabric on our cutting mat. So I went ahead and I cut some embroidery fabric. I think this is a cotton. You can really embroider on lots of different things, but this is one that is from, you can see it had a finished edge, a larger sheet of embroidery fabric that I use for small projects now. So I've cut it to fit this little hoop for our little ducks and friend. And we are going to draw our pattern on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and situate it right on our cutting mat. This is a fabric cutting mat, so it holds fabric really well. And I always use my brayer to get a really good bond. You don't want it to shift when it is drawing. So that is important. At this point, we could probably just put it right in the machine, but I am always really nervous that it's going to move. And so in that case, you can hold it down, little extra reassurance. I just use some uh, painter's tape or you can use masking tape, something thin that's not going to stick to your cutting mat like duct tape um, works really well. I, I pretty much always use blue tape or green tape, painter's tape of some kind especially on these unfinished edges. Perfect. So now we know <coughs> that our piece isn't going to go anywhere. And our little design is two and a half inches tall to fit in inside this tiny hoop. So we need to measure where that's going to sit on here. And our actual piece is 
one, two, three, four, five over, so two and a half over, and about five down. So two and a half over by two and a half over. We will adjust that on the screen for Cricut Design Space, and then we will be good to go. Da -da -da. I've already got my heat um, disappearing pen, heat erasable pen loaded in. You can also use a washable fabric marker. I have one from Cricut that works really well. That just snaps right into the regular Cricut pen holder as opposed to this adjustable one. I will link all of this down below. But this only comes in a medium tip. Anybody knows one of these in a fine tip, let me know. So while I love it, it is a little too thick for these small designs. This is a smaller piece and since it's heat erasable, I can use my heat gun to just erase any lines in the wrong spot once I have finished my design. I'm here, we're gonna go ahead and load this baby through. It's going to calibrate and then draw our little dachshund. some reason that has calibrated all funky like look how off that is hmm. I don't know if that's the machine or the pen I haven't used this pen in a while just a minute I don't know. Let's try it with a different pen. I really don't like heating up my little mat that much. definitely the pen. So this pen, while it is heat removable and this one is not, is just, uh, I think it's too wiggly. That's what I was noticing when it was in there was that it was shifting quite a bit because the whole thing comes apart. So I'll try another heat resistant pen, but in the meantime, there you go. This is how you draw with your Cricut. Um, and whether you are using a Cricut pen or an adjustable pen, it works both ways, but obviously you need a sturdier pen than this one. So I will, uh, I will keep working on the pens. Maybe we'll do a whole fabric pen review. But uh, so far today, this guy over this guy. All right, I will see y'all in the next video. I'm going to go embroider my dachshund.